you know, you call it the China virus. You suggest that it's a bioweapon. There's no evidence of any of that. And we're also in the middle of a spate of attacks against Asian Americans. Aren't you just feeding that? Uh, pretty irresponsible. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And you're not going to turn this into something else. This is a virus that killed all kinds of people. It had nothing. It has nothing to do with anyone's race or ethnicity. It has nothing to do with any of that. So no, not at all. 格林议员嘅话音刚落，阿拉巴马州嘅共和党议员布鲁克斯继续接过话题。I'm very disturbed that you would even ask that kind of question. Chinese Americans. Are not necessarily members of the Chinese Communist Party. Understand that the Communist Chinese Party rejects virtually every provision in what is known as our Bill of Rights. Recognize that the Chinese Communist Party does not believe in the kind of republic that we believe in. And for you to associate the Communist Chinese Party with Chinese Americans as you have done, I would submit is egregious and wrong. 布鲁克斯措辞严厉嘅批评记者之后，又提到美国民众应该对中共有清醒嘅认识。Ask yourself, America, this question. When we talk about gain of function, let's be a little bit more specific about what we're talking about here. We're talking about a dangerous virus being changed so that it is much more communicable, meaning people are much more likely to get it, and/or it becomes much more deadly. Now, why would any country, why would any country do that with a virus to make it more contagious and make it more deadly, if not for militarization purposes? And if you look at the Communist Chinese Party's background and its relationship with the military, it leads you but to one logical conclusion.